Alright guys, so another little out and about video for you here. We're in Kowloon in Hong Kong. Soon Men Chi, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I'm probably not because Chinese is a bit crazy. Cantonese um, is even different, uh, quite different from Mandarin in fact. So um, yeah, this we're at another little brewery here. This is the Zhang Men Craft Brewery in Kowloon. And uh, we'll go in and take a little bit of a look. So you can probably see from my face and stuff like that, the humidity in Hong Kong is a little bit of a problem. It's very difficult for Scottish people in the heat, but we'll go in, take a little look at the bar and see where we get on. And I hope you enjoy another one of these kind of out and about reviews. Okay, cheers. So yeah, there you can see the A in the sign is out, so I'm sure they'll fix that soon. But just look at the surroundings of this brewery. You know, it's these typical Hong Kong high-rise buildings. I mean, this place is one of the sort of highest feeling cities that I've been in. That's including Tokyo and stuff in that as well. But yeah. So outside, as you always get, you get these menus and stuff, but yeah, you go in through the door, there you can see Zhang Men and the characters. Yep. So they've got the football on and stuff as well, which is great. Um, yep. So getting in the way of people. Really impressive tap list here, so um, wheat beers, IPAs, stuff like that, sour beers, black IPAs, um, Irish stouts, they've got a peated beer, so you'll see me review that later, I can't resist that when I'm here. Some pale ales, English IPA, New England IPA, um, ciders, cream ales, lagers, double IPAs, uh, German Hellas, Scottish export, um, coffee IPA, sour beers, smoked imperial porters, you know, a hell of a lot of different things here, but yeah, really Lovely little bar, this one very loud because you know it is Hong Kong and stuff. There you can see all the taps. Go around to the back, you can see all their kegs and stuff here which is pretty cool. So yeah, no, awesome, awesome stuff actually. So yeah, if you go up to the back here they've got some of their um, merchandise and things too. So there you can see the Zhang Men Brewing Company. So uh, yeah, nice little bar this one, it's very kind of authentic. And, uh, and Asian, but good food here as well. I'm just getting in the way of the waiters because obviously being in Asia is a little bit cramped. So yeah, we're already at the bar. We've already got our beers, so we're gonna get stuck into it. And you can say hello, this is my cousin enjoying his German Hellas and playing around with his phone because that's what this generation do. But on to beer reviews. All right guys, might be a little bit loud in here, but we'll just see how we get on with this one. So this one, Misty Mountain, New England IPA, and um, I'll, have to, I'll have a little sip of this, and it's really nice actually. It's a very kind of lighter and easy going version of the New England IPA. You can see from its appearance, it's quite a, a kind of clear beer, this one, to be honest. When you've got the levels of humidity in Hong Kong that you have here, they will make their beers a little bit more drinkable. I think in Asia, generally, that tends to be a thing. But yeah, really nice looking beer, this one. A sort of medium golden amber color, and um, yeah, it's just really good. So let's take a little taste of this and see how we get on. Slanju, let's go. So yeah, straight away with this beer. I think what you're gonna find with this one is that it's really, really quite smooth. You've got a nice, sort of oaty and wheaty character, just blankets the middle of your tongue and um, you know the further you go into the aftertaste that smoothness kind of lingers there, there is a good little bit of sweetness coming out of the, the sort of beauty oaty character that this beer has which is uh, which is like really really nice and um, it does have a little bit of a biscuity sweetness in the middle of the palate too. On the hoppy side of things, it's kind of what you'd expect. I think that you're looking at around sort of 25-ish IBUs in this one. It's not too bitter in that sense. Um, so yeah, back corners of the palate, you know, a little tiny touch of earthiness in there, almost like German noble hop-like. And as you come further forward along the sides of your palate, it's a little bit more kind of floral and, uh, and aromatic. There's a little bit of a kind of floral. Uh, not quite spicy, a little bit of floral quality at the, the front of the palate, they're just mixing cocktails in front of me. So, um, yeah, it's a nice, it's got a nice little bit of floral quality to it, a little bit lighter and grassy around the front curve of the tongue, and then behind that front curve of the palate, that's where you're getting the fruity esters. For me, this one, um, it's quite sort of mango-y, papaya -y. so I, I think there's a bit of, I think there's a little bit of citra in here. Um, Yeah, a little bit of citra, I think, you know, quite orange, uh, 
it's got a little, yeah, mainly mango, it's a little bit of papaya, stuff like that. There could be a little bit of a kind of tangerine orange in here, so maybe a little touch of mosaic. But this is a really nice, easy going drinkable IPA. Not the kind of appearance that you'd think, but definitely in terms of its flavour profile. Definitely a New England IPA, this one. So a really, really nice beer. In terms of the mouthfeel overall, nice kind of um, wetness to it. It's quite an oily mouthfeel, this one, I would say, more than anything else. Um, it's, as I say, 25 IBUs, nice smoothness to the malt base, slightly sweet as well, and some nice juicy fruits. But all in all, Mountain Mist from uh, Shine Mountain Craft Brewery, pretty good. So if you get the chance to try this in Hong Kong, then you will quite enjoy this. So Andrew, we'll check out another beer in a second. Alright, second beer that we're going to try. So this one is their, uh, their Irish Stout, 6% this. And so as you can see, lovely dark sort of ebony rosewood colour. The head's just faded away because they've only poured it. This is only 250 milliliters. They serve beer here in 250 and 250 mils and 500 mils. So you know, decent measurements. But yeah, you can see lovely uh, dark ebony colour as you'd expect. Um, so let's take a little look at the aroma and see how we get on. Yeah, you can definitely smell the sort of lactosey, milky kind of elements of the beer. A little bit of roasted black malt, as you'd expect, some chocolatey malts. Um, quite a sweet chocolatey note to this one, actually. It, it has a little bit of that toasty char chocolate that you'd expect, but still, you know, quite nice and solid, I have to say, on the, the chocolatey front. So I think the lactosey notes are making the chocolate seem a little bit more milky. But um, yeah, a good blend of sort of you know, maybe 60, 70, 80-ish percent cocoa chocolates in here. So really nice chocolatey malt to this. A little bit of earthiness from the hops as well. Kind of everything that you would expect from, uh, from an Irish stout, basically. So yeah, let's have a little taste and see how we go on then. So this one is the Zhang Men uh, Irish stout. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah. That's really quite nice, actually. Um, but if you try this beer, you're going to notice that it's quite... It is like really um, very similar to the kind of traditional ones. Very nice, light and milky. Um, they've, they've got this one pretty much spot on. If you compare this to Guinness, which, you know, when it's an Irish style, you kind of have to do that. Very, very similar to what you'd expect from Guinness. So good job to, to Shang Men for this one. So, yeah. Straight away in the middle of the palate, you notice that little bit of roasty, toasty black malt in there. Kind of milky on top of that. You've got that nice lactosey element to it. It sweetens up the further you go into the, the flavour as well, but then it starts to dry out the further you go into the aftertaste too. And there's maybe a teensy little bit of a brown sugary note to this one. I'm noticing a little bit of a kind of charred, caramelly type thing to this beer as well. But it, it works out really nicely. I mean, the malt base in this one, very, very simple, but the flavour combination just really works nicely. And then, yeah, you know, really nice. The hops are very simple in this one. A um, little bit of earthiness, a little bit of kind of grassy floral quality. It's almost a little bit herbal on the sides of the palate too. But nice, little touch of floral note, grassy around the front curve of the tongue. And behind the front curve of the palate, you just get a little touch of red fruit. I mean, it's not even figgy. It's just like a little tiny um, kind of candied strawberry note, kind of grassy esters as well. But um, overall... It's really nice and just what you'd expect in an Irish stout. Again, the thing I'm noticing about this beer is, if you compare this to the original Irish ones, the mouth feels a bit lighter, and I suspect this is just because of the humidity. So this is quite a sort of light-bodied beer, this one. Probably pushing the top end of light-bodied, bottom end of mid-bodied. Nice little bit of crisp carbonation to it. Um, yeah, and I'd say quite a wet mouthfeel to this one overall, but you still get the lactose note out of it. Usually the lactose note would make it a little bit creamy, so it has that element to it. In terms of IBUs, I think we're talking about 40-ish IBUs for this one. Um, maybe 40 is even a push, it might even just be about 30. But yeah, nice balance in the malt base between the smoothness, sweetness of the lactose, a little bit of roasty bitter malts. Um, and uh, you know, nice little touch of fruity note to it, and some sweetness as well in the aftertaste. But a really good example of uh, an Irish stout, this one. So yeah, thumbs up to Zhang Men again for the way they've done this beer. Really nice, traditionally, and, and quite well done. So good job. 
Alright guys, so third beer of the evening. This one is their Scottish export beer and uh, I'm guessing that this one, it's around sort of six, six and a half percent, so I'm guessing this one will be somewhat akin to like a sort of 60 or 70 shilling, not quite as strong enough to be an 80 shilling Scottish beer. Um, and this is a style you know, I love reviewing these. It's cool to find a Scottish beer that's from Hong Kong. I love reviewing my native beer style from different countries. But yeah, as you can see with the colour of this one, this one's almost the same colour as the stout. I mean, even if I hold it up to the light, it has a really dark sort of rosewoody colour to it. So very, very dark for a for a Scotch ale actually. But um, yeah, it had when, when this beer was poured, it had a sort of light kind of fawn coloured head. You know, nothing too surprising about this one. But I will say it's one of the darker sort of Scotch ales, 80, 70 shilling beers that I've come across. So let's have a taste and just see how we get on. Or we'll have a look at the aroma first and see how we get on. Yeah, so dip my nose in it, which is always a good idea. But um, yeah, so with this one, it does. I do think we've managed to get some Scotch malt to use in here. So you can smell straight away the nice roasty, toasty, caramelised brown sugars. I've always said the difference between the American version of this style and the Scottish version is that our ones are always a little bit more toasty uh, and grainy, if you like. And this one to me smells like a properly traditional Scottish one. So I'm quite excited about that. And Hong Kong's obviously an unusual place to find this beer. But yeah, nice sort of brown bready base to it, some grainy notes in there. A little bit of uh, really toasty, almost treacly um, sweetness to it, which is good. A little bit of earthy hop, you know, a little bit of that floral herbal thing. I'm, I would suspect they've used English hops in this one because that's what was traditionally used in this beer style. And, uh, you know, you can get a little bit of a, a kind of figgy note out of this one. It's not quite sharp enough to be raisiny or plums, but definitely a nice sort of juicy, figgy, red uh, candy fruit to this one. But, you know, nice smelling beer. Let's have a taste of this one and see how we got it. So this one is the, uh, the Scottish export beer from Zhang Men in Kowloon in uh, Hong Kong. Slanja, let's go. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Compared to the actual Scot to the normal Scottish ones you'd find, this one's a little bit more um, bready to be honest with you. So there's a little bit of a nice bready character to this one. It's almost got a little touch of German Dunkel quality to it, this so or Czech Tmavi. It does have a little bit of a Germanish quality to this one, but I like how that comes across. As you know, if you watch the channel, I absolutely love German Dunkels and Czech Chernies and stuff like this. So um, this is a style of beer that I really, really do enjoy. Um, and yeah, this is like a Scotch ale combined with a Czech uh, Cherny German Duco. So this is one that really is unusual and hits the spot for me. I like this. So middle of your palate, nice bit of brown bready base to this one. It stays quite sweet as far as you go into the aftertaste. Nice sort of caramelised brown sugars, a little bit toasty. Um, you know, there's a little bit of an almost woody quality to this as well, which again is one of the subtleties you can expect from a Scotch ale. So this is a really nicely done beer, this. I have to say, you know, big thumb, thumbs up to them again. And I'm impressed with this brewery. The quality of their beers is really pretty bloody good, actually. So if you come to Hong Kong, check out these beers. If they can do a Scotch ale well, this is a difficult style to do well. And they pulled it off pretty well, so yeah. There's maybe a little touch of a nutty note to this one as well. You go to the centre of the palate, you get the nice caramelly brown sugar notes. Go further forward, nutty notes, and then woody otherwise. Hoppy side of things, a little bit earthy in the uh, in the back corners of the palate. But you know, overall, it's it's really quite authentic. This right? this is a very very good example of a Scotch sale. Um, yeah, little touch of earthy, little bit herbal, little bit floral. Uh, in its character too, and a nice little bit of grassiness around the front curve of the tongue. In terms of the fruitiness, this one, um, it leans a little bit, it's got a little bit of figgy quality, there's a little bit of an almost blackberry, black currently note to this too, which is really nice. Um, and it's almost a little bit candy too, but a very, very good example of a Scotch ale in my mind. Just, it has a little touch of a German quality to it, the smoothness of the malts in this one. It's a little bit German, so maybe they've used some Bayern malts from Bamberg in this. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, in terms of the mouthfeel, mid-bodied, 
carbonation is very smooth, leans a little bit towards the wet side again, just to deal with the humidity here. Um, malt base is a good balance between smoothness and sweetness, a little bit toasty as well, and not so much in the way of IBUs, I think there are about 20 IBUs in this one, maybe 30 at a push with some nice tuna freshness, but like I said, really good example of Scotch ale, but it also has a little bit of a German quality to it, Dunkel or Doppelbock, something like that. But yeah, another very solid beer from these guys. Let's go on to the last one of the night, Slanjo. Alright guys, last beer of the night, because yeah, we've got to be up early to do the touristy stuff tomorrow. So for this one, we went for a really proper Scottish beer This This one is called the Isle of Skye, it's a peaty dale, it comes in at 8% EBV, 11 IBUs, you know, it should be a little bit of a monsterness. So as you can see with the appearance, it is a little bit, um, it's quite sort of a really rich amber colour. I do apologise for the noise, you know, as the night goes on, the Hong Kongers get a bit more rowdy, it's just kind of what happens. But yeah, lovely nice amber colour, this one, sort of, um, you know, sort of nice sort of fawn coloured head on this one. It's, um, you know, nice looking beer. I would have thought this would be a lot darker than it is for a peaty deal, but it looks good. We went for a half litre of this since it's the last one of the night. But let's take a look at the aroma and see how we get on. Yeah, straight away, you can tell with this beer, this is authentic Scotch malt that's in here. It's got that lovely grassy peaty quality, a little bit earthy, you know. It's a very, very distinctive kind of character that this beer has. It really is very good. It's, to me, this is quite a sweet peatiness that's in this one. So I would be curious to know where their Scotch malts come from in this case. But a really, really nice, um, you know, a really nice example of. Uh, Scotch malt, and it's just, it's Hong Kong, it's such a strange place to find a Petey Dale in because this is really a beer style that you're not going to come across all that often. But yeah, and you know, a little bit of grassy, herbal quality in, from the hops, you know, kind of what you'd expect. And it's got a little bit of a kind of juicy fruitiness, you know, there's probably a little touch of a figgy kind of black currant ish note to this one. But you know, overall, Nothing surprising about the aroma when you consider the style of the beer. It's just really, really quite well done. So, yeah, um, let's have a taste of it just here we go. So this one is the Isle of Sky, Peter Dale, 8% ABV from uh, Zhang Men in Kowloon. And then what we call this is fucking Slanja Skull. That's really pretty good actually. So with this beer, um, straight away you're going to pick up the caramelly notes out of this one, and that's the booziness coming out. You know, it's 8% ABV, there's no escape into booze in this beer. You can feel in the middle of your tongue, you've got a nice little bit of brown baby quality. It's almost like the PT malts are kind of infused into that. So yeah, nice little bit of a, a kind of PT malt quality to it. It's a little bit... Um, you know, it's a little bit of a, it's got a little bit of caramelly note in the middle of the tongue, which is quite nice, quite a sweet caramel to be honest with you, that's unusual for a peaty beer, but yeah, nice brown bread, you notice the peat is mixed into that, it's a little bit woody, um, maybe even a little touch of nutty as well if you come further forward on the palate, mainly woody, peaty, brown bread, and that lovely kind of peatiness that's in there as well, as I say, it's quite a, a sweet peatiness that you get out of this beer. On the hoppy side of things, Yeah, again, this beer is what you'd expect. You know, a nice, um, you know, you've got a nice little bit of earthiness at the back corners of the palate. As you come further forward from that, you get a nice, um, you do get a nice little bit of herbal quality, a little bit of floral grassiness in the front corner of the tongue, and round the very front part of the palate, it's a little bit more light and grassy. Definitely a little bit of red fruity quality in there. The woodiness, the further you go into the aftertaste, the more the woody notes start to come out of this beer. But it works really, really well actually. This is one of these beers where it's just about how everything blends together. This is probably my favourite beer that I've tried tonight. All the beers I've tried have been really good and really authentic, but um, this one I have enjoyed. So big thumbs up to uh, the Shanghai for the quality of their beers. They're doing some awesome stuff. So yeah, um, on the fruity side of things, this one has a, does have a little touch of figgy note to it. There's a little bit like a sort of dried um, fruit.
reason kind of thing as well. It does have a little bit of a raisiny sweetness, black currantly sweetness to it as well. So overall, I mean, this beer really is just very interesting how it goes together. One of the more unusual beers that I've tried recently. But you know, to find a beer like this in the uh, in the middle of Hong Kong, definitely really really unusual. But yeah, let's leave it at that for this one. In terms of its body and mouthfeel, definitely a full bodied beer. Carbonation is very smooth. Leads towards the oily side of things. Very low IBUs. A nice blend of sweetness and smoothness in the all the And a little touch of juicy fruitiness at the end. But a beautiful beer, this. My favourite one I've tried tonight. That I suspected it would be. That's why I've saved it for last. So we'll go outside, we'll film some final thoughts on, the, on this brewery. And uh, I'll catch you in a second. Cheers. Alright guys, I'm not sure how the light's going to work out in this video, but final thoughts on the Zhang Men Brewery. Um, I found out when I was doing a little bit of googling inside, they do have a second location over on Hong Kong Island. Um, but yeah, this is their Kowloon location and I was really impressed with the quality of the beer. You know, tried a few authentic styles, a Scotch Ale which turned out to be quite similar to like an 80 or 90 shilling, really really good. An Irish Stout which was very very authentic as well. A Peaty Dale which was really unusual but really good. Um, so their traditional styles of beer tend to be really good. My cousin had uh, a little German Hellas too which was also really nice and authentic. So you know really impressed with the quality of the beer that these guys have and um, you know if you like traditional German beers, traditional English, Scottish beers then um, you know you will be impressed with this brewery. It's, um, it's really good. Uh, I would recommend you come here. I tried the American style beers too and I was really impressed with those. So yeah, if you get the chance to come to Hong Kong, I would recommend you check out uh, Zhang Men because it's, um, you know, quality of the beer is very good. Nice atmosphere, nice people serving behind the bar, good knowledge about beer. Check it out for yourself and just see what you got on. But I hope you've enjoyed this, another out and about review for you. Hopefully I can film more of those, uh, more of these for you while I'm here in Hong Kong and stuff. But uh, yeah, until the next time, Slanger just now, check out Zhang Man in uh, Hong Kong if you come here. Check out their other location over on Hong Kong Island as well. But I'll catch you guys very soon. Thank you again for watching. And uh, yeah, try some good Hong Kong craft beers. Slanger, school.